Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl with Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. We've got some college basketball for you guys. we got four plays, four games we'll be talking over. We'll look at Clemson, UNC. We'll look at Dayton, St. John's, BYU, and Oklahoma, and then uh, Iowa State and Texas. Before we jump into it, all of our plays will be over on the picksandparlays.net website. Uh, we can, where you, That's where you can get a one-week pass for $70 for all of the sports. And... Uh, Make sure you guys are checking out Earl Sports Bets on all social medias as well. That's where you can find all of our content for Earl Sports Bets. Let's jump into the card. And uh, we get a good one off the rip. Uh, Clemson is going to be in Carolina taking on UNC. Uh, UNC is an eight and a half point favorite with a total of 154. What does everybody remember last from UNC? How about a very impressive win versus Duke? And I knew pretty much once UNC won that game against Duke, that I was going against them here. I will be on Clemson plus the eight and a half. I think they're live dogs. UNC is in for a big letdown spot. I still think they probably win, but this is this is a way too wide of a spread. This game has struggle written all over it for UNC. If they win this one, it's by one or two points. Give me Clemson plus the eight and a half. Now let's go to some fun system plays. Dayton versus St. John's, eight ten matchup. Dayton's a two and a half point favorite with a total of 145. And uh, and I, I love to say this. If you're going to back an unranked team versus a ranked team, deal you know, when the unranked team is home. It's a lot more successful. Uh, I will be on St. Joseph's in this game. I'll grab their plus two and a half. This is a spot where we just saw this a couple weeks ago with Dayton, where they were slight favorites on the road against Richmond. And we saw how that one planned out. I see this one going pretty similar because Richmond had a really good road home record. Guess who else has a good home record? How about 10-2 and two for St. Joseph's? Um, so this is just the St. Joseph's teams I've been impressed with. Uh, their losses at home to Illinois-Chicago, which is not a terrible loss at home, and then an ugly one to Texas A&M Conference. But that was back in November. This team has really looked good as of late. They've won five out of their last six, only losing to St. Bonnie's, which – We've seen St. Bonnie's has been a pretty solid team this year, too. I'm taking St. Joseph plus two and a half. Let's roll into Oklahoma and BYU. BYU minus one, total of 151. Once again, if you're going to back them, do it at home. I'm on Oklahoma. 11-2 and two home record. Really solid. And what I noticed with some of these ranked teams, they look really good at home. A lot of them have very unimpressive road records or barely have played on the road. Uh, you, you've got... BYU who played on the road five times, and they are two and three in those appearances. They have a win against West Virginia, a loss to Texas Tech, a win against uh, Central Florida, a loss to Date, uh, Baylor, and then they lost to Utah earlier in the year. Uh, so we've seen we've seen good ranked teams lose on the road because two and three on the road for BYU, but fourteen and two at home. Be, really, really different team. And then I'm um, Oklahoma 11-2 at home. Give me Oklahoma in this one. Let's finish it out. And this is a very, very similar case because Texas is unranked for now. When the next rankings come out, I guarantee Texas will be on there. They're coming off of a nice win versus TCU. Uh, Iowa State, though, uh, is the 14th overall team in the nation. And they, I believe, are coming off of a big win as well. Well, no, sorry. They came off a close loss to Baylor after beating Kansas. So, um, that was a little bit of a letdown spot there, but I still like Texas in this matchup. Um, 10 and three at home, just a really solid home team. And once again, very similar to the last game, this Iowa state team is 16 and five, but they are two and three on the road, meaning they're 14 and two at home. They get all their wins done at home. They're not really doing much on the road. Give me Texas minus the two and a half. We will have more plays, more of the spreadsheet plays up on the site as well. All those will be on picksandparlays.net. That will be forward slash Tim uh, for a one-week pass, $70. And uh, make sure you guys are following us on socials. Recap time. Clemson plus the points. St. Joe's plus the points. Oklahoma on the money line. And Texas minus two and a half. That's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Termal. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck.